Hey guys, I want to make sure you guys were able to get everything turned on here in the control room and set ready to go. Um, it's not unfortunately as easy as just flipping on the switcher and being ready to go. You actually have to select a couple of the presets to get it all running. So I'm going to step you through that real quick so that if you have any questions, you can just scroll the video back and go through the whole setup process with me. Okay, first things first, on the side of the TV here is the remote control, it's just Velcro, just go ahead and power the TV on. Same thing on the Mac, big screen, there's a remote control on the side, just power it on. And return the remote, obviously. Now the crossover, or the, the video switch, takes a while to turn on, so I'm gonna fire it up and let it go through its boot up procedure. It does take a few minutes, so go ahead and flip that on first uh, before you get yourself situated, and then you'll be ready to go. If you might wanna come right over here on the side to the rack, and right next to the breaker, there's a red LED and then the on switch to turn the rack on this is what is distributing your signal if this is turned off it's going to just seem like oh my gosh I forgot something nothing is working because this is really kind of the uh, the nerve center of what's going on so make sure you power this on you'll have a red LED here and another red LED here to let you know that it's all on okay on the audio side don't let this kind of fall through your cracks uh, you want to turn the audio board on first now with audio specifically it's important what order you turn things on so there's a little uh, button on the back side here if you go just feel right to the bottom it's they're gonna be your first thing down in that corner just push it in so pushing it towards yourself we'll turn it on you'll see the blue light here telling you that it has power and you come over to the two studio monitors the power button is all the way around the side. On the back side, just below the power input, there's a toggle switch, flip it down, and you will see the blue LED repeated also on this other side. The switcher is on, all the pretty lights are lit up. I will show you how to set the outputs. Remember we have three outputs, screens, record, and distribution. Go ahead and touch distribution, and it'll light up green. And what we need to do is have a wider hand because one hand is on the camera. Hit the shift key on this side followed by the black key over here. So third row shift, so one, two, three rows shift, and the very far, so you're hitting the two corner buttons. So black and shift. And you notice the shift button and the button over here are both lit up, and that is what you were looking at, to set those to the program feed up here, this little guy on this side. So repeat the process for the other two screens. So record, let it light up green, you're gonna hit shift, and black, screens shift key here so shift and black now all three of those as you uh, cycle through them will notice nothing changes really because the two uh, lights here indicate that you are on program feed all right so as long as your mapping looks like this we're green pink and pink green pink and pink green pink and pink if those are set up you are good to go on the output feeds now let me show you the key uh, key selector. What this is doing is telling the switcher how to put the, uh, or which input to put the lyrics over top of the video. So we're going to use key one. So hit key one select, let it light up green. And notice over here also where it says auto select also lights up green. So what it's doing is it's waiting for you to tell it which one it is. Now when you first fire it up, it's probably going to be on black. But what we're going to do is, so key one select, green and green. And you're going to hit this one, worship graphics that you saw illuminated just a minute ago. So green, green, white on the top row. Again, top row is what we're selecting for these outputs. Okay, so key one, auto select, worship graphics out. And now, as I don't think I have anything on the computer, nope, you won't be able to see it, but you can see it illuminates red as I put it up on the program feed. So that's telling me that that key button is now selected for program.